Aujourd'hui, nous poursuivrons notre That programme et nous reprendrons les additional documents que nous avons interrompus hier, débat portant the sur le versement de pièces au dossier par les parties. We started that proceeding yesterday, but we had not finished it yet. Hier, mais And nous, the international co-prosecutor submitted to adjourn the sujet, proceeding yesterday in order to prepare himself for the document to be submitted before this chamber. So I believe um, proper documents and proper list of documents with proper identification of those documents des, uh, to be submitted before this chamber shall not be appropriate and they shall not be lumped up together with no proper identification. Les documents qu'ils souhaitaient présenter well organized in advance. Ils souhaitaient également s'organiser and the important thing à is identification la of those documents shall be properly mentioned including the la document numbers, des the titles, à savoir as well as the year numbers of those documents. ERN, ERN Because some documents have the same document, names, identification the difference correct might only be the date of car the document. documents étaient les mêmes, mais portaient des dates différentes. Par And conséquent, les coprocureurs souhaitaient you, prendre euh, documents co-prosecutors, so that they, they can provide clarification on the documents they wish to submit un and consider put before this chamber. Your Honours, may it please your court. Devant la chambre. Le Just in the beginning to clarify Juste uh, your Honours' understanding of what happened yesterday, quant à ce qui passé we just sought your leave because you were at the nous close of your uh, afternoon session to respond in more detail to those very uh, uh, very fundamental questions raised by Just Laverne. So we had our answers, but we thought we would give them in detail this morning. Number two, Your Honours, the documents that we sought to discuss with my learned friends were on the basis of the observations of my learned friends. It was not on the basis of any confusion or any lack of understanding of those documents on the part of the Office of the Co-Prosecutors. Having said this, now I'll immediately go to the two questions raised by uh, his owner, Judge Laverne. And those two questions were this. Do we have the French translation of the annex to the filing of the 29th of April 2009, which is E61, which comprises of the name, the description, the ERN number, and all such details that your Honour just mentioned that are required for putting a document before this chamber. 
concernant the les différentes indications à faire porter aux documents inversés au dossier. What does the co-prosecutor have to say in respect of the annotations of the accused on the documents that we mentioned in our filing of the 19th of August 2009? Uh, which comprises annexes C and B of that file. C et B I shall address these questions in seriatim, and I would request your honors to indulge me for about five to seven minutes, because I have to give a little background about these documents. The documents pertaining to the armed conflict have been on record of this court since at least the 29th of April. 2009. Under 2.2, Article 2.2 of the practice directions on the filing of documents, a party such as the co-prosecutors are required to file documents in two official languages of the court. The co-prosecutors did this on the 29th of April 2009. We checked once again with the CMS. The practice thereafter is for the receiving judicial authority to forward that file document in the third language of the court should it wish to. So I would most sincerely request your honors uh, to, uh, uh, to clarify with the graphiers whether it's actually been forwarded for translation into French. The other question that arose was in respect of how many documents as attachments to that filing of 29th of April 2009 are in English, how many are in French, how many in Khmer, and how many in more than one languages. And I'll take essentially two minutes to respond to that question. There are 430 documents that provide a chronological account of the protracted violence between Cambodia and Vietnam. Each document provides evidence of armed clashes or disputes on different dates and on different locations. These documents emanate from international and national sources, including minutes of the Standing Committee of the CPK and other organs of the Communist Party of Kampuchea. And they are supporting and corroborative of the statements made by the accused, by the expert Nayan Chanda, and others in this case. I shall now just tell you the translation status of these documents. All these documents have been on the case file for at least one year and five months as of today. Of the 430 documents, 212 were included in the introductory submission filed on the 18th of July 2007. They have been there for more than two and a half years. 135 of these documents were referred in the closing order of the co-investigating judges of the 8th of August 2008. Combined, 239 out of these 430 were included or referred to either in one of those filings. The remaining 191 documents were disclosed on 21st of March 2008 in document D60, which was entitled Co-Prosecutor's Request to Admit Documents Relating to Proving the Existence of an Armed Conflict During the Period of Democratic Kampuchea. Now, just to tell your honors about requirements of translations of these documents. And I shall be done with in about two minutes on this issue. My learned friend and the counsel for the charge person, Q. Sampan, took exactly the same issue in case file two, that they don't have all these documents in the French language. As a result, the counsel for Q. Sampan said the trial should be stopped, and my learned friend said expeditiously all these documents to be translated. The co-investigating judges in a detailed and reasoned order of the 19th of June 2003 
tout de suite le procès Eight. puisque les documents ne sont Said pas this. en langue française et qu'on ne peut juger civil law euh, par rapport aux éléments versés. Une charge personne est entitled to the translation into Khmer. Selon of les règles, indictment il est of the co-investigating judges and elements of proof on which any of this indictment is based. The charged person is also entitled to the translation into Khmer of the introductory submission and the final submission of the co-prosecutors and their footnotes. And last, most importantly, what the learned investigating judges observed, the translation par ailleurs, remaining les translation of the case file documents are not elements of proof for the determination of the trial chamber and are not therefore covered by the requirements to translate into the languages of the charged person. Now, this was confirmed by the pre-trial chamber, in which the pre-trial chamber observed that exculpatory material should also be translated A into the language of the accused, B also in the other language so that the counsel can assist the accused. We agree with that. This is not exculpatory material. And the last and the most important thing the co-investigating judges held and confirmed by the pre-trial chamber For the rest of the documents, the council should rely on the multilingual facilities available in the defense team as also available in the defense support section. And they said the same applies to other parties, including the office of the co-prosecutors. In our most respectful submission, we have abided by the conditions of appropriate representation, appropriate identification as required by you in the two languages that we were supposed to file them in. And we did that on the 29th of April 2009. My learned friend's client, he understands at least French and Khmer. My learned friend's national colleague understands French and Khmer. My learned friend understands English and French. And I think in line with the order of the learned investigating judges, we are not required to translate every single document on the case file. And indeed, that supports the establishment of armed conflict into all the three languages of this court. Your Honours, the next issue raised by Judge Laverne was on the question of the statements of the accused. Now, my learned friend said in response to the question raised by the civil parties that this is not an occasion to reopen the trial. This is not the occasion to reopen the evidence. Clearly, we are not asking for that. What we are asking for, Your Honours, is essentially in line with what Your Honours directed. Your Honours, in your transcript of the 31st of August 2008 directed, and which is about 17 days ago, This chamber, on today and yesterday, shall consider procedural matters such as putting documents before the chamber under Rule 87. We are doing exactly that. We have given the notice of these documents to my learned friend on the 19th of August. In any case, all these documents have been on the case file since the time the introductory submission was filed in July of 2007. They are all in Khmer, which the council's client understands, and they are, in our most respectful submission, not required to be put to a witness. They are to be essentially put to the accused, not even examined in open court. He should just give his remarks in those documents which have been appropriately identified so that your owners may take a decision on that matter. Now, in respect of documents that have already been put in this trial, I clarified yesterday, and uh, for better record, I shall do so in exactly one minute. When we filed our annexes C and D of the filing of 19th of August in respect of the accused annotations. We were aware that some documents have been put on record. We went through entire transcripts of your honours till the 19th of August and excluded such documents that had been granted E3 status. So to directly respond to his honour Judge Laverne's question, 
Such documents that have been granted E3 status have been excluded. Now, such documents that may have been mentioned, but your honours have chosen not yet to grant an E3 status, clearly have been retained in that list so as to assist your honours to take a decision and to assist the accused in responding to those uh, 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 attachments in, in, in Annexes C and D of the filing of the 19th of August. That's my clarification. Uh, I don't know whether I've been very clear, but should uh, His Honor has any further question, I shall be able to answer that. And just to finish, these are the most direct evidence. And I ask myself the question, if the accused annotation about what he did in S21 are not retained on record. What better evidence would this court have in the absence of major witnesses, in the absence of people who saw and died, and in the absence of this, in the presence of this gap of 30 years when witnesses' memories have faded and some have chosen not to give a complete version for, for, for fear of self-incrimination. In our most respectful submission, this is the most direct, relevant evidence that proves the case of the guilt of this accused, which he has accepted. Now, it's international law that no conviction can be returned only on the guilty plea of an accused. And that's what we are doing. We are not wasting the time of this court. We are just telling your honor to put these documents, which he may have authored, because there are at least 60 of them, to confirm that he did or he did not do, without any taking of time of this court, and your honors may conclude that what he's actually admitting is reflected on the factual record. This will also assist to keep a complete historic record, because after all, you're not just a criminal court, you're also recording the history of what happened in democratic Kampuchea. That's my submission, and uh, I shall be available for any questions. De, de, de faire un travail d'histoire pour savoir ce qui s'est passé exactement sous le régime du Kampuchea démocratique. Voilà ce que j'avais à dire, Madame et Messieurs les juges. Pour que les choses soient parfaitement claires, euh, doit-on comprendre qu'il n'y a actuellement aucune demande de traduction en français des résumés des pièces concernant le conflit armé was that question to me, Your Honor? Um, there's, there is no request from the Office of the Co-Prosecutor because the judicial chambers make that request once they receive in the two languages of the filing of the parties. Et dernière question peut-être, s'agissant de la proposition qui a été faite par la Défense d'un résumé d'une page en français, est-ce que euh, la, euh, les coprocureurs ont une position définitive à ce sujet Your Honours, I undertook that I shall do so. It's happening and it will be given in all the three languages of the court. In, Your Honours, I can't give you the number of hours, but very soon, within hours. Très, très prochainement.
Merci, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour, Thank you, Monsieur le Mr. Président. Good Madame, morning to you and Il aura to the donc other members fallu 15 minutes well, au bureau du coprocureur so it took the of the pour répondre par oui ou par non à la question initialement no posée par Monsieur le juge Lavergne. Les documents of Judge que vous avez Lavergne, transmis le 29 avril ont dû ou non été traduits. 15 minutes been, de réponse have they not been translated? pour que, à la fin, on dise non, ils n'ont pas été traduits. Monsieur le juge Lavergne, vous avez invité la défense hier à rentrer en rapport avec le bureau des coprocureurs uh, pour essayer de trouver une solution uh, to, uh, des solutions pour que le coprocureur puisse être en contact avec le bureau des coprocureurs pour essayer de trouver une solution. Et je vous avais dit que je ne ferais pas ça plus. Aujourd'hui, la confirmation que ça ne sert à rien. Confirmation that it's absolutely useless. On vous a donc Therefore, enseveli. Je dis bien enseveli. You have been Nous avons encore dans notre office submerged, le carton de overwhelmed, documents qui I nous a été adressé le 29 in, in avril office, sur le confirmé. Uh, the carton of documents which Je was addressed to us. Nous concerning armed conflict. I won't return to the debate we had about armed conflict. We are overwhelmed with documents. And I said since the month of January, in all discussions that we had then with the office of the prosecutors, that I would accept that 200 press excerpts not to be translated because it would be uh, too much time. But I want a one-page summary in the je, French je, language. Je Since January, Since January I failed to understand. I don't understand this method of work. Deuxièmement, Second, je suis I, terrifié. I am terrified. Je pèse mes mots. Je suis terrifié. And I mean what I say. I am terrified au grand jour. to see à la fin du procès, Coming to the light of day, at the end of trial. comment puis-je le qualifier pour ne pas être... How can I characterize this to avoid injurieux to avoid being Je suis terrifié. 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 Je alors que le I'm procès est quasiment terminé, that at a time when the trial is nearly bureau over, des coprocureurs, you, the vous réalisez of the co que vous n'avez toujours pas versé au débat 60 confessions, que vous n'avez toujours pas demandé à discuter contradictoirement dans ces débats, 60 confessions. C'est ça que vous êtes en train de nous avouer ce matin. Nous venons de passer six mois avec vous. Vous avez fait entendre des témoins. Vous nous avez présenté des documents. Et à la fin, vous nous dites, ah oui, mais attendez, il y a 60 confessions dont nous n'avons pas encore parlé. Alors, je voulais vous les donner. So, ce que j'appelle en français « en vrac » et l'accusé aura la possibilité uh, uh, d'y répondre. Uh, uh, Mais quand as we le procès say, est uh, fini but when the trial Quand voulez-vous que l'accusé réponde when do you the to Vous allez maintenant, so you dans les deux mois qui restent, are going, alors que pour ma part, je pensais remaining, que nous allions plaider immédiatement we were avant la fin des débats, il a été accordé deux mois. Pourquoi faire Pour que vous rédigiez encore 160 pages de mémoire que nous allons devoir encore étudier. Et vous voudriez qu'en plus de ça, pendant ces deux mois, l'accusé aussi soit obligé de répondre à toutes ces questions, à tous ces documents que vous donnez en vrac ce matin à la cour Je suis... Je suis choqué I'm shocked que vous affichiez I'm shocked that avec autant de légèreté you could be so autant de désorganisation irresponsible and pour ne pas dire plus. Organized. Pour ne pas dire plus. Alors, 
Monsieur le Président, Madame, Madame Monsieur, pardon de m'emporter, so mais euh, il y a des droits élémentaires de l'accusé, des droits élémentaires, un an d'instruction, huit mois de procès, au cours duquel il appartenait au bureau des coprocureurs de mettre dans les débats ces 60 documents et de recueillir les observations de l'accusé. Vous avez choisi de ne pas le faire. Vous avez choisi de nous faire perdre du temps avec des témoins inutiles. Mais vous ne pouvez pas priver l'accusé du droit de faire ses observations oralement et contradictoirement sur ces documents. Il ne me paraît pas possible de réouvrir les débats pour le faire ou alors de procéder la Chambre then let remet l'accusé en liberté clear. immédiatement the would need et nous reprenons les débats the pour encore une année. And then we'll start the again for an year. Mais je rappelle And que l'accusé like est en détention depuis dix ans, that, uh, que chaque jour qui passe est un jour de détention provisoire supplémentaire. On n'a pas le droit de jouer avec ça. C'est très simple. So, it's very simple. La défense considère que les débats sont terminés, the que le procureur ne that, peut pas uh, the déposer and the are over, 60 documents. That, uh, the prosecutors cannot Au passage, il nous indique annexe C et D. And then in Moi, je n'ai qu'une annexe D. Annex C je ne voudrais pas qu'il y ait d'erreur. Où est votre annexe an C je ne l'ai pas. De quoi s'agit-il encore Moi, à la cote E152.3, je n'ai qu'une annexe D. De quoi nous parlez-vous pour une annexe C Quoi qu'il en soit, Monsieur le Président, Madame, Messieurs, au nom de la Défense, je demande le rejet de tous ces documents dès lors qu'ils n'ont pas été discutés contradictoirement lors de nos débats. Subsidiairement, si la Chambre entendait autoriser le dépôt de ces documents, je demande la réouverture de tous les débats et la mise en liberté immédiate de l'accusé. President, the international co-prosecutor, you may proceed. Let me indulge me just for five minutes. I shall not be long and I shall not use strong language. My learned friend should just go back to the filing of the 19th of August 2009 to see that Annex C is the Khmer translation of the Annex D that you have before you. Number one. Number two, Your Honours, as Your Honours yourself declared on the 31st of August 2008, your proceedings are not over. You have kept these few days and you have been very generous with your time allocation on this for allowing the parties to put documents before you, such as to complete the record before you when you sit to deliberate your judgment. Now, all these documents have been on the case file. We did not invite my learned friend to give his response in a public hearing today or yesterday. We made our filing on the 19th of August 2008, 2009. My learned friend from then till today had one month to respond to this and in writing. And he knew on the 31st of August that your honors are putting these three or four days apart only to receive the response and not to give a response in court that he will not respond. Now, if he were to not respond, that is fine. Your honors may then decide. But my learned friend should not say that we are delaying after having filed the application about a month before 
because he did not choose to respond to that application. And the third and the most important submission in this uh, regard, Your Honours, is this is usual practice in international tribunals when at the conclusion especially of guilty pleas, evidence in support of what has been pleaded is accepted by the parties just for completion of record. And yesterday I saw a very laudable submission by my learned friend that these exhibits should be put on the website of this court. We sincerely support that. Because after all, if only Doik's guilty plea was to be put on the website of the court without any supporting independent documentation, it will not be seen as justice has been properly, judicially, and legally done. Your honors have led these proceedings. The witnesses that have been brought before this court have been asked to come by your honors. Any wastage ever sought by the office of the prosecutor would have been denied by your, by, by your owners. To say in open court that the court's time has been wasted by useless witnesses called by court, in my most respectful submission, is inappropriate. And lastly, your owners have led these proceedings. This is an inquisitorial trial. Your owners took four hours and the office of the co-prosecutor took half an hour for a full day's hearing. We took 15 minutes for a half a day's hearing. Therefore, Your Honours, we, in discharge of our duty under 87.1 to prove the case beyond our reasonable doubt, most respectfully submit that these are the most directly relevant documents that could have been put had the trial been longer. And really, this trial shouldn't have been longer because, after all, he's proving he's accepting some guilt. Therefore, for a proper historical record and for completion of these proceedings and for you to make an appropriate judgment matching his guilty plea with the documents on record, it will be in the interest of justice that these documents are accepted and I shall say no more. Thank you. The President, Mr. François Monsieur le Président, je veux bien que l'on fasse des reproches à la Défense si elle les mérite. Euh, il y a des règles, et les règles, mon cher confrère, valent pour les, toutes les parties. Je vous rappelle que la directive prévoit que je dois répondre soit dans les cinq jours, soit dans les 15 jours de la traduction en français de vos requêtes. Votre requête du 29 août n'a toujours pas été traduite en français. Tous vos documents qui m'ont été adressés n'ont toujours pas été traduits en français. Comment voulez-vous que je réponde et vous nous indiquez And que vous avez vous-même ces documents depuis le début de la procédure. Voulez-vous expliquer à la Chambre pourquoi vous avez attendu le 29 août pour déposer votre requête Ces documents, nous dites-vous, vous les avez repérés depuis le début dans le dossier. Vous saviez depuis le début que vous vouliez les utiliser. Et vous attendez le 29 août. Vous attendez le 29 août pour les soumettre à la Chambre. Comment voulez-vous que le service de traduction puisse fonctionner Alors, quand j'aurai votre requête en français, j'aurai 5 jours ou 15 jours pour y répondre. Je n'ai toujours pas votre requête en français. For your request in French. President, uh, Mr. Co Prosecutor, could, could you please uh, conclude uh, your response and uh, we should wrap up uh, this? issue now because yesterday we experienced the same discussion and that today's topic is not 
much mm, different uh, from what we already uh, indicated yesterday. Hier. So could you please conclude uh, this uh, submission and that uh, if the defense counsel wishes to uh, finish uh, to respond, then it would be the final response. I think my, your honor read my mind. I just wanted to rise to say that I don't want to say anything. I just want to correct my learned friend that it is not the 29th of August, and he can read that document, it is the 19th of August. I shall say no more. The President, uh, judges of the band, uh, would you wish to make any observation in relation to this matter? Uh, we now would like uh, to give the floor to the Defense Council to clarify on their submission to put uh, a document, and uh, the Chamber would like to know whether the Defense Council is still si intending to put uh, this document uh, before the court. De verser, uh, les au débat. Donc, merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Donc, la défense euh, avait euh, déposé donc defense, un certain nombre de documents auprès des co-juges uh, d'instruction à la cote D80. Et la défense souhaite And the defense que maintenant ces documents would soit like that these documents now be considered as having been put before the chamber. Je les cite par ordre. I will uh, list the order for à la you. Cote D80 barre de fraction D80 1, slash 1, le livre Pol Pot, the, the book Pol Pot, Anatomy d'un cauchemar, Anatomy of a Nightmare, de Philippe Short. By Philip Short. qui existe en français exists et en anglais et qui est déjà à votre English, dossier, puisque versé au dossier des juges d'instruction. Uh, uh, à la cote D80, barre de fraction 2, at D80 2, le livre de David Chandler, we find the book of David Chandler sur S21, about S21. en français et en anglais. In French and in English. À la cote D80 barre de Under fraction 4, le livre de François Bizot, the book dont nous avons parlé François à l'audience, qui s'intitule Le Portail, the proceedings, which is called le portail the gateway. à la cote D80. 80 bar 5, le livre de M. Raoul Marc Génard, dont nous avons également parlé à l'audience, les, les clés du Cambodge. À la cote D80 barre de fraction 6, le livre de François Ponchot, The book of François Poncho, Cambodge, année zéro, Cambodge, année zéro, dans son édition française in the et French Khmer. And in the Khmer versions. Dans le même bordereau de pièces in the same que list nous avions déposé of également auprès des juges d'instruction. Nous avions visé à la cote D88 des cartes provenant de Dissican, également à la cote D80 barre de fraction 9 
des cartes satellites provenant de DCCAM à la cote D80-10, encore des cartes sur les fosses communes du Cambodge. C'est un document de DCCAM. Je précise que ces trois documents, ces trois derniers documents, ont en principe déjà été versés au débat lors de l'audition de M. Raoul Margénard. Par la suite, nous avons demandé à verser des nouveaux documents qui sont aujourd'hui à la cote E5, barre de fraction 9, et cela dès le début de notre procès. Il s'agit du livre de Henry King, notre témoin qui n'a pas pu venir, puisqu'il est décédé entre-temps, le livre de Henry King intitulé en anglais « The Two Worlds of Albert Speer ». Je rappelle à ce propos que nous avons également demandé que soit versé, et je pense que c'est déjà au dossier, mais je souhaite le vérifier, que soit versée la lettre sous forme d'affidavit de M. Henry King, lettre qui remplacera le témoignage qu'il n'a pas pu donner et qui est sous la cote E5, barre de fraction 9, barre de fraction 2. Nous avons également dans cette liste In this list, E5 barre de fraction 9 e demandé à déposer ask, leave les comptes rendus, c'est-à-dire les transcripts the de l'audience du 30 octobre 2003 du tribunal pénal international pour l'ex-Yougoslavie dans l'affaire le procureur contre Obrenovic. Également, l'enregistrement vidéo de cette audience, tout au moins des extraits. Également, also, le jugement rendu par le tribunal pénal international pour l'ex-Yougoslavie le 10 décembre 2003, on 10 December 2003 dans cette affaire Obrenovic. Je précise qu'il est de tradition que l'on ne soit pas obligé de communiquer en principe les décisions de jurisprudence, mais nous l'avons fait par souci de transparence. Et enfin, dans cette liste E5-9, nous avons souhaité déposer le livre de Desmond Tutu, dont il a été question l'autre jour à l'audience, dans sa version française et anglaise. Bien entendu, la défense souhaite ajouter à tous ces documents, du moins vérifier, que soit bien versé au dossier la, au débat, plutôt, la reconnaissance des faits. En principe, c'est le cas, je n'ai pas de numéro 
put before the chamber. Normally it's been the case, but I do not have any Donc vérifie. Nous avons suffisamment parlé de cette reconnaissance des faits. Je souhaiterais évidemment que le grève veuille bien vérifier que cette reconnaissance des faits figure au débat. Et enfin, comme annoncé hier, un document de dernière minute, il s'agit de l'interview donnée par euh, M. Choumey, une des Choumet, parties civiles, one of the civil à un magazine français, to a French magazine. une page It is dont one nous page avons communiqué long. une version française and et Khmer à nos contradicteurs. Et comme indiqué, nous ne souhaitions pas déposer ce document avant d'avoir pu projeter la vidéo de la reconstitution de M. Choumey interview. Voilà la liste des documents que la Défense souhaite faire figurer dans nos débats. J'imagine également que I la consultation de M. Raoul Génard, qui est à la côte D82, a dû être versée au débat dès lors que ce témoin a été entendu, mais il faudra le vérifier. Voilà, M. le Président. That is all, Mr. President. Okay, le Président, Monsieur le juge Laverne, vous souhaitez intervenir, je vous en prie. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Donc, l'autre jour, la Chambre a rappelé à toutes les parties que, euh, s'agissant donc de euh, la production de documents, nous souhaiterions avoir, euh, savoir les raisons pour lesquelles ces documents euh, doivent être versés au débat. Nous avons notamment un certain nombre de livres. Certains, euh, me semble-t-il, ont déjà été évoqués au cours des débats. D'autres ne le sont pas. Donc, euh, est-ce que la Défense pourrait nous donner quelques précisions sur les raisons pour lesquelles elle souhaite que ces livres, qui sont parfois particulièrement volumineux, puissent être versés au débat, euh, ainsi que les raisons pour lesquelles elle souhaite que les autres documents Uh, and plus précisément sur le débat. Alors, bien entendu, monsieur Mr. le juge, tous les documents dont on Your a Honor. eu l'occasion de discuter pendant les débats, we have discussed notamment in the lors de l'audition des témoins, in particular during the je pense au livre de Chandler, je pense au livre de euh, François Bizot, je pense au livre de Raoul Margénard. J'imagine que pour ces ouvrages, il n'y a pas de difficulté, alors qu'ils ont appuyé le témoignage des personnes entendues à cette barre. Euh, en ce qui concerne les le livre de Desmond Tutu, Concerning Desmond nous en avons Tutu's également book. parlé, vous l'avez entendu, avec un des témoins. We it with one Ce livre of the contient des éléments This book que la Défense souhaite utiliser, that the defense intends donc to rely on. un des témoins a été interrogé sur ce livre, one of the witnesses donc was ça ne me paraît pas poser de difficultés. With this book, using ce this dont book, on n'a pas du tout parlé au débat, view. ce sont deux ouvrages, We did not talk about two Cambodge années zéro de That François Pancho et Pol Pot, Anatomie d'un cauchemar. And Pol Pot, Anatomy of a Nightmare. Alors il s'agit de livres dans lesquels la défense entend euh, puiser The defense pour intends sa plaidoirie. 
to delve into these works et to support its pleadings. Bien entendu, ce ne sont pas l'intégralité des livres, it is mais not the la défense books dans sa plaidoirie that se référera à certains use. passages de ces livres, the will refer et particulièrement, to je dois le dire, books, and à I ce livre extrêmement documenté in de Philippe Short. Philip Short's la défense avait well imaginé dans un premier book. temps de citer comme témoin M. Philippe Short pour ne pas allonger les débats. Elle a renoncé à cela, notamment parce qu'elle estimait que son livre ayant été versé dans le dossier des juges d'instruction, il suffisait de se référer à certains de ces passages. Donc voilà pour pour ces ouvrages. Je ne pense pas que les, les autres pièces appellent des, des commentaires particuliers en ce qui concerne notamment les décisions de jurisprudence. C'est évident que rien ne pourra empêcher la défense d'utiliser des décisions de jurisprudence, euh, y compris en projetant une vidéo d'une audience, puisque nous avons la chance que les audiences soient enregistrées dans les juridictions pénales internationales, et plutôt que de donner lecture des transcripts, il sera beaucoup plus vivant de visionner cette vidéo qui sera donc présentée, je l'annonce, dans ma plaidoirie. Donc, pour que la Chambre comprenne bien, il ne s'agit pas nécessairement de produire devant la Chambre de nouveaux éléments de preuve, puisque ce qui nous intéresse sont les éléments de preuve. Vous dites que vous envisagez de vous référer pour illustrer quelque sorte de à utiliser certaines références d'ouvrage, mais il ne s'agit pas d'éléments de preuve. De quoi s'agit-il Parce que s'il s'agit d'éléments de preuve, il faut qu'on sache exactement de quoi on dit. Pardon, ça me paraissait évident, mais effectivement, vous avez raison de poser la question. Il ne s'agit pas de nouveaux éléments de preuve. Il s'agit d'illustration à partir de ces ouvrages d'éléments qui ont déjà été débattus dans cette chambre. To the co-prosecutors co to make observations regarding the request les à by the defense counsel for the documents considered documents to be put before the chamber, including those books as mentioned by the defense counsel. You take the floor. And your honors, in the very beginning, I'll remind you that I shall be brief. My learned friend has the experience of being in this court for about two and a half years. And we, in our filings, are cognizant of two words very particularly. One word, as Judge Laverne pointed out, is evidence. And the other word is authorities in support of a submission made uh, by a party in its pleadings. Those authorities can be filed, they are taken on the case file, but they are not treated as evidence. In our most respectful submission, Rule 87, 2 and 3 pertains to evidence and not authorities. Now, my learned friend, in one argument of about 10 to 15 minutes, has, and to use his words, dumped more than 1,000 pages of documents onto this court. 
without even filing a small motion justifying, as Judge Lavon said, the reasons for filing these books. Now, clearly, the prosecution will not have a disagreement regarding books of Chandler, Bizot, because they were heard as witnesses, and we would most respectfully agree to acceptance of those books as being put before you. But it's nowhere reflected on record that you, the learned defense counsel, ever asked for Philip Short to be brought before court. You didn't ask, to our awareness, the investigating judges, neither did you ask this court. The reason why we asked Nick Dunlop's book to be placed on the record of this court was because we had asked for him, and your honors in your wisdom did not approve of it. And yet that book was discussed, and therefore we felt it should be before you when it comes to uh, 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 consideration of evidence. Therefore, we would respectfully, respectfully submit that Philip Schott's book be not taken on record. We would submit that David Chandler's book, and he clarified at the end of his testimony that the authoritative version is the English version, be taken on record, albeit along with his French version. We also submit that Jenner's book, although very tangentially relevant to the facts about S21, may be taken on record. We submit that François Poncho's book be not taken on record because it does not add to anything that your honors have not held, and therefore it shall be barred under 87.3a as being repetitious. In respect of maps of DC CAM, satellite images, and more maps, my learned friend may have referred to them, but the defense never extensively put these maps and documents on the record of this court or exhaustively discussed them in the proceedings, either before the investigating judges or before this honorable court. We don't know the relevance of these maps or the idea that my learned friend wishes to advance through the use of those maps. But because simply being maps, and because we are at the end of the trial, we shall not get into this argument and would accept or leave it to your honors to decide on the question of maps. In respect of Henry King's statement, now clearly Henry King was a distinguished prosecutor of Nuremberg. He wrote a letter to my learned friend, which my learned friend sought to read and your honors uh, quite appropriately disallowed it. We would respectfully submit that that letter be taken on record because it's a reflection of a very senior Nuremberg prosecutor. However, your honors may consider keeping only one page of his book on record, which he mentioned in his letter. And that page, or two pages, pertain to Albert Speer, and my learned friend mentioned that. In our respectful submission, admitting the entire book, which is available in our awareness only in English, or I may be wrong, it may be available in French, uh, would be inappropriate. And therefore, your honors may consider accepting only that page of that book. Also, in respect of Henry Spears, uh, in respect of Henry King's letter, your honors may also wish to direct my learned friend for completion of record to place his letter to Henry King, on the basis of which Henry King replied, and which would have found the basis of his testimony before this court, which could not happen. Howsoever relevant transcripts and videos and judgments of the Abrenovich decision may be for the case of my learned friend, in our respectful submission, they remain legal authorities 
They are not evidence. They were not put to any witness. They were not put to any expert. If your honours were to put into the evidence all the judicial authorities that you have referred to, we shall run into thousands, if not millions, of pages. So we would respectfully submit. Your honours may leave it open to my learned friend to use such legal authorities in this closing submission or any of his pleadings that is open to him to file, but not consider as put before the chamber. In respect of the book of Desmond Tutu, once again a very distinguished figure, president of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission of South Africa, the learned national and the international co-prosecutor had made a concession, and I would stand by that concession, and I shall add no more. In the end comes the statement of Chumay. Now, my learned friend gave me a long lecture of how things should have been done by the office of the co-prosecutor and why we should have been more organized and be able to come before you ahead of time. Now, this alleged journalistic statement taken by Paris Match, which to my recollection is not a serious intellectual academic magazine, of 26th of November 2008, exactly about 10 months ago, when this person is a civil party, when this person deposed before you, and when this statement is only a journalistic version of what he may or may not have told this journalist would not add to anything that your honours may wish to consider a judgment. Therefore, although it could be read by my learned friend in his closing submission, but its admission or its being put before the chamber should be denied. And I hope I have been brief. Thank you very much. C'est quelque chose qui est encore à voir. Voilà ce que je voulais vous dire. The president, le président du Civil Party Council, do you have any observations to make regarding the request by the Defense Council? La demande du Conseil de la Défense. Hong Kong Soon, thank you, Hong Mr. Soon, president. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Good morning, Your Honours, distinguished members of the court. I am Hong Kong Soon, representing Juge. Group 2 and 4 of the Bonjour civil parties. Parti. And I would like to provide my Je following observations regarding the request by the Defence Council. I agree with what has been said by the Défense. international co-prosecutor because there are several books requested by the Defence Council and they are in the English language only and it is inaccessible for us, the National Council for the Civil Party. Regarding Jum May's statement, at the beginning of the trial proceedings, discussions have been made regarding the agreed facts. I can recall that the Defence Council strongly objected any interview or statement between Kang Gek-il and uh, journalist or the UN representative who interviewed him in Badambong before his detention. Interviewé avant, uh, and the que chamber, que especially the honor president, uh, and agreed to his objection, and those documents were not admitted. Also, regarding the arguments, photographs and the videos made by the Vietnamese soldiers were sternly objected by the Defense Council. Vietnamien, uh, and those evidence, the evidence were not admitted by the chamber. 
uh, regarding the final set of documents requested by the Defense Council, le that is Joe May's interview with the Mary Smith from the 20 to the 28th of August 2008. And I recall that on the 30th of May 2006, in, in June, correction, Jumai was a survivor and also a witness who came here to provide his testimony so that the chamber as well as parties to the proceedings, including the defense counsel, to question him. And the question is, why at that time, that is from the 20 to, to the 28 of August 2008 until the, the 30 of June 2009. The Defense Council did not question him on that interview so that the parties would have the opportunity to question or to verified lui poser des questions, those interviews. De vérifier la so this is rather a trick used by the Defense Council and I sternly object Et the request for submission of this document made by the Defense Council. That is all, Mr. President. Thank you. Présenté par les conseils de la défense. C'est tout ce que j'avais à dire, Monsieur le Président. The President, uh, le Président, Bernard, Maître you take Bernard, the floor. vous souhaitez intervenir, je vous en prie. Monsieur le Président, Madame, Monsieur les juges, bonjour. Juste un mot pour vous dire que le groupe 1 s'associe à tout ce qui a été dit et que concernant Chumay, alors si ce document devait être en effet admis, alors de la même façon que ce qu'a qu demandé un Maître Roux, alors Chumay devrait être rappelé parce que c'est là, c'est là, là, une élémentaire, euh, ce serait le moindre que Chumay puisse s'exprimer sur euh, ce qu'il a possiblement dit à Paris Match ou pas. Chumay, comme euh, il a été dit, est venu ici. Et si effectivement vous voulez que ce document soit passé, alors Chumay doit revenir. Et Chumay doit pouvoir vous dire si oui ou non il a dit ce que euh, ce journaliste a retranscrit et pouvoir s'exprimer. C'est l'élémentaire. Ce serait élémentaire de demander à Chumay ce qu'il en pense si effectivement vous voulez que ce document soit placé devant vous. Merci. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président. Euh, Madame, Monsieur le Juge. Juste une remarque. J'ai cru, euh, me, je crois, me souvenir que lorsque euh, il a été question du livre de Monseigneur Desmond Tutu, il avait été euh, demandé, je crois, à, aux avocats de la défense the defense council de préciser les parties euh, sur lesquelles elles s'appuieraient. Il me semblait que rely, the parts euh, of the book on which they intended François to rely. François Roux avait agréé à cette demande. And it seems to me that est Mr. Roux agreed to do so. Sont exacts euh, si oui, est-ce qu'on pourrait avoir ces références If this is the case, then we would be glad to have the references. The President, le président uh, François Roux, Maître Roux, would you be able to respond seriez-vous en mesure to the question de répondre posed aux by the civil party lawyer group par, 3 par la co-avocate du groupe numéro 3 des parties civiles euh, non pas, Monsieur Mr. le Président, Roux. je me suis engagé effectivement à donner une traduction des passages que je retiendrai dans ma plaidoirie. Puisque nous avons deux mois pour préparer la plaidoirie maintenant, vous l'aurez, comme j'ai l'habitude de le faire, avant ma déclaration orale. 
Merci, Monsieur le Président. Ms. Martino. Thank you, Mr. President. Le président judges of the bench, do you have any comments to make or any verification to make regarding all these requests? Les vérifications s'agissant de ces demandes. If not, let me move on. Si tel n'est pas le cas, nous allons There are still civil party counsel to put their request. Les co-avocats des groupes de partis civils doivent encore faire leur demande. Présenter leur demande, reprendre l'interprète. Le président de la France Council, François Roux, Maître Roux, I notice you're on the feet. je vois que vous souhaitez intervenir. Et avant de passer à la prochaine procédure, je voulais demander si vous avez des commentaires à faire par les différentes parties de la procédure. Mais de toute façon, François Roux, vous pouvez prendre le floor et s'il vous plaît, considérez le temps pour nos procédures et faire vos commentaires précises. Je vous invite à vous exprimer brièvement. Et aussi, vous devriez rester sur les nouveaux matières et ne pas répéter les matières qui ont déjà été discutées. Sinon, nous ne répéterions pas les questions qui n'ont pas encore été traitées. Sinon, les débats vont se prolonger. Et il va nous être difficile de trancher si nous tournons en rond. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Mais je voulais avoir euh, you, la possibilité de, de répondre à ce qui vient d'être dit par les coprocureurs co et les parties civiles suite aux demandes que j'ai présentées. On a laissé cette possibilité tout à l'heure aux coprocureurs de me répondre s'agissant de leurs propres documents. Je souhaite pouvoir moi-même répondre à leurs observations so très rapidement. Like to to their euh, pour rassurer les avocats des partis civils, je ne sais pas briefly, si ce sont bien les avocats de Choumey qui se sont exprimés. Euh, si ce n'est pas I le cas, ça me poserait un problème. Je, je répète bien qu'en ce qui concerne Choumey, la défense problem. avait cru opportun de ne pas communiquer ce document tant qu'on n'avait pas visionné la cassette. Et Mme Jules Carreit avait dit que l'on visionnerait cette cassette au moment de l'interrogatoire de personnalité de l'accusé. Cela étant, si, cette, si ce document vous gêne, je ne l'utiliserai que dans ma plaidoirie. Ce n'est pas un problème. Je n'ai pas de difficulté avec ça. Donc, euh, si vous ne souhaitez pas qu'il figure dans les éléments de preuve du débat, je n'utiliserai ce document. Je me référerai, et vous en êtes dès maintenant avisé, je me référerai à ce document dans ma plaidoirie. Vous en avez déjà une copie. Vous êtes maintenant avisé de cela. Il n'y a donc pas besoin, effectivement, de rappeler M. Chumey. So there will not be a reason to call Mr. Chumay again. In response to the prosecutor, as regards the books of Mr. Sarkozy, which were seized, 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 which were
The president, the president, it is now appropriate for a break. We will Le take 20 minutes, minutes break, pause. Pause and we shall return at 20 to 11. The hearing is uh, now adjourned. Um, All rise, 10 say 50. the graffier. L'audience est levée. La graffière, mesdames et messieurs, veuillez vous lever.